67 after a couple of 65 66s and if anything slowing even more and an interesting part of the race here and that uh, he moves aside and says okay i don't want to take this on now and the field all bunches up kai robinson still there for australia a beautiful sky in the evening light is just bathing this stadium with the head with the floodlights as well in a great atmosphere so many people watching this and for the first time the pre-event favorite kip limo goes to the front i'm not sure if he actually wanted to go to the front or if he was manipulated through to the front there but he's going to do something with it now he will have thought okay if you put me here then you ask for it and, and the hammer's going down and so you're going to need to respond and that's the problem when they slow it like that when they do surge quickly if you're not able to respond then gaps soon open up and sadly that's the case ahead of andy butchart now he's trying to move wide and move himself back up into contention Brave running from Andy Butcher. You got a sense, didn't you, as uh, he was injured early on in the season, and every week that went by, he was getting fitter and stronger. At the British Champs, he, had a, he was quite a long way back and finished strongly. And he said, "It's coming, it's coming." But it's World Champs, maybe uh, a week or two too early for him, really. But this, all of a sudden, we've seen Kip Limo do this for Chapter Guy: pick the pace up, get it moving, break the group up get rid of some of the athletes tonight though he's doing it for himself and he's broken it down to three as expected Paul Azakayo just dropping off here uh, Benio and Candy though hanging on yeah, and then it's a gap further back to to that group which includes Andy Butcher, Vilshut and Kai Robinson of Australia as well in that pack and I think it's exactly that for Andy Butcher. he was building back from a stress fracture early on he was getting back into shape and then he got hit with Covid when he came back from Eugene as well which has meant that he's just not quite firing on as many cylinders as he would want to be tonight but if he can knuckle down and hang into that group now they might be able to work together should 61.8 Paula that's a very fast lap and that is hurting everybody including Andy Butchart Kai Robinson just moved ahead of him with Vilchut. He's going to have to try and hang on to those two guys there. But at the front, these are three world-class runners, but two of them really kind of untested in this championship 10,000 meter race. And in fact, the two Kenyans at the moment are heading for big personal bests here. Candy, to me, is a great runner. And him and Kip Limo have had this brilliant rivalry on the roads primarily but now extending it onto the track here at the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, and they're just settling in behind. I don't think Kip Limo will really mind this. It's wind is certainly, I mean, it is breezy out there, but it's certainly dropped from where it was earlier on today. Uh, it's nice conditions. You can see his eyes focused ahead on the task. What is difficult here in the stadium is that the big screen is actually quite small. So if he wants to have a look up, and judge or see whether he is managing to, to drop candy there. Uh, he's going to probably need binoculars or just to look over his shoulder. I think you'll just try and stick to the task here because we're coming up to the last two and a half laps, the last thousand meters. The last two laps have both been running 61 seconds. This thousand's going to be about 233, 234, something like that. There you go, 234. That's incredibly quick with still a thousand meters left to run. Candy ran the fourth fastest ever 10,000 meters on the roads in Germany earlier on this year. And now he's showing you can do it on the track because this time round they've just got two to go. Kip Limo and Candy, two great rivals, are well clear now. Oh, it's a Benio who's there. Sorry, excuse me. My apologies. Thank you, Paula. What do you reckon now then? That's a 60. Keep turning the screw here. Absolutely incredible from Kip Limo. Well, I said Avenue might have been disappointed with that run in Eugene, and he's certainly racing a lot better here tonight, and he's sticking to Jacob Kip Limo like glue there, and everything that Kip Limo is throwing down to try and shake him off, it's not having any impact whatsoever so far, and this will start now to nag away in Kip Limo's brain and trying to work out what can he do. Does he need to start attacking it back a little bit and save something for that final lap. Well, Kip Limo wants to emulate Chapter Guy. He trains with them all of the time and says he's my hero, really. 
that this is his chance to step out of the great man's shadow. But Abeno's not giving this up at all. They've got 500 metres to go. It will be a championship record, that's for sure. And it's Chep the guy who holds it. And for the first time, Abeno tries to get to the front. Has Kiplimo got anything left? 400 to go. Is this a feint from Kiplimo? He looks over his shoulder. That's not a good sign, but he is able to respond so far. So does he have something else? left to key off Ibenio once he's got this back straight out of the way. A look behind from Kip Limo. There's nothing behind him. It's all happening ahead of him. Ibenio's trying his best here. His father died when he was younger, raised by his mum and his grandma. And he said, I would so love to win a gold medal for Kenya. Well, this is his chance, but Kip Limo is still there. It's Kenya versus Uganda. And it's Kip Limo who just might have enough here. He takes one last look behind into the home straight, and it's going to be Kip Limo. Five metres, becomes six, seven, eight. He continues to go away. Jacob Kip Limo, his brother won the marathon earlier in the week. He's now going to take the gold medal in the 10,000 metres. He's the Commonwealth champion in a new championship record. A great 10,000 metre performance. A personal best for Abenio, all smiles, the silver medal for him to go with his African Championship silver medal. And Candy, who's followed Kip Limo home on many occasions, has to do it again here. I think Candy will be rewarded with a personal best for the bronze medal. But what a night, what a day for Kip Limo. And there'll be big cheers for Andy Butchart. It's a pretty solid run for him. He's going to be well under 28 minutes, and he gave it his all. He hung in there as long as he could. A little wave to the crowd.